when you need help, when you're out of options, and you need your voice heard. Better call for If the criminal moves money out of your account through Zelle, then all bets are off. Zelle is like cash. Your money's gone and you have no rights. For years, Zelle users have voiced concerns and frustrations to Better Call 4 about the lack of support they've received from the peer-to-peer -peer pay payment platform, specifically when it comes to fraud. But things could soon be changing, at least for some victims who lost money to scams. Details in tonight's Better Call 4. this year, Better Call 4 told you the story of Jessica Bircher, a Columbus woman who lost thousands of dollars to fraud on a popular payment app. I'd never used Zelle before, so I didn't know what to do. Initially, Bircher called her bank. Told them what had happened and they were like, um, uh, I'm sorry, but I think you've been scammed. Then Bircher called Better Call 4 for help and to share her cautionary tale with other Zelle users. I reached out to Bircher's bank and Zelle, both telling me they were unable to investigate the matter further and would not refund Bircher's money. Unfortunately, the unhappy ending to Bircher's story isn't unique. Consumers have been losing money to payment app scams for years. According to the Senate Banking, Housing and Urban Affairs Committee, Zelle users lost $440 million in 2021. Consumer and finance expert Clark Howard told me that's likely because there are no rules on the books for payment platforms, meaning they aren't liable if something goes wrong. When you deal with these payment apps, nobody anticipated them. So they don't have any of the protections that you need to be safe with your money. But it appears Zelle is now taking steps to better protect its users. A spokesperson for Early Warning Services LLC, the network operator of Zelle, telling me in a statement that all 2,100 participating bank brands on the Zelle network must now reimburse consumers for qualifying imposter scams. That includes when a scammer impersonates a bank to trick a consumer into sending them money with Zelle. But whether Bircher or any other scam victim will actually be reimbursed is up to each banking institution to determine what qualifies. In other words, if you were the victim of a fraudulent scheme through Zelle and lost money, you must report that loss to your bank in order to be reimbursed. You can check out this story on NBC4i.com for additional details on the reimbursement process and to see the full statement from Zelle. And remember, if you need help and you feel like you aren't being heard, you better call 4 at 614-212-4444 or you can visit our website NBC4i.com slash better call 4 and tune in every Tuesday and Thursday evening at 545 to watch Better Call 4.